Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. So today, a continuation of yesterday in many regards. Um, not a whole lot going on astrologically, uh, but the moon is going to be in Gemini, still uh, accentuating a bit of the inquisitive side of ourselves. Um, a really good day for learning. Uh, wanting to share information, really get into the practical side of things. Of course, the sun is still in Capricorn, so we're still focused on things in a reserved sort of way. And perhaps in terms of how things can be structured and disciplined and organized um, in the big picture aspect of our life. And so in terms of how we're expressing ourselves, probably quite reserved in that fashion. But Mercury is going into Capricorn this uh, part of the week. So there's this shift now with our mind. And just like Gemini, that practical side of the mind, going into a very grounded sign of Capricorn. So we could start to be thinking more in terms of responsibility, more in terms of, again, um, communicating ourselves or expressing ourselves in a more cautious sort of way or thinking more cautiously. And that's good because with Capricorn, it's about seeing how everything fits together and seeing the big picture and taking things again one step at a time to make sure everything is done correctly and responsibly and the right way. All right, so definitely a shift into Capricorn. And then again, with the emotional body, certainly that Gemini energy of inquisition. Um, we are approaching a lunar eclipse on Friday. So things are becoming more insightful, let's say, as we approach that. You know, the lunar eclipse is like a full moon. Lots of awareness, lots of insight, and a bit of momentum. Now, of course, the lunar eclipse is very transformational. All right, so it's a very powerful week of a new shift along the life journey. And maybe through these insights, through what we learn, through what we gain, it's going to help us make that new shift, which has been unfolding over the past six months. Uh, so we'll talk more about that when we return. All right, so there we have it, the moon in Gemini, and this is going to be for the bulk of the day, um, that inquisitive practical side of things. But uh, the moon is going to be shifting into Cancer the later part of the day, so we'll likely notice this shift from the more mental to the more emotional. And that's essentially what Cancer is about. Could make it a good evening for just a bit of privacy, uh, maybe getting in touch with our emotions, reflecting on the past a bit, all right, getting into that intuitive state. Um, and just kind of relaxing into the emotional body. It is a good placement for the moon to be in, by the way. So with the shift from the mental to the emotional, again, this whole context of this lunar cycle being about Capricorn, right? Seeing the big picture in terms of structure, in terms of having more structure in our life, wanting more of that stability. And I think with Mercury shifting into there, it's really going to add to that. Of course, he's still kind of in between, so it's going to take some time, but there's certainly the shift in terms of us thinking probably a bit more grounded, a bit more cautiously, you know, productively even. And again, um, just all in all in that uh, responsible sort of way. All right, so that's the um, backdrop. Of course, I do want to mention that Venus and Mars are still in Pisces, so there is still a lot of this watery energy going on. Uh, very good intuition at the moment, maybe getting things done in a more receptive way can be very good with Mars and maybe in relationships connecting in a, more, in a more receptive way as well. You know, unconditionality, acceptance, just kind of letting go and being present um, can be very enjoyable and um, great way to connect. So that's the, um, the placements in terms of the aspects. Again, not a whole lot going on astrologically today, but the moon is forming a grand cross. So just like yesterday, we had some squares, same sort of thing today. Uh, in this case, involving an opposition up to Pluto, a square to Uranus, and a square to Jupiter. So with this one, with the opposition of Pluto, there might be something that we become aware of today that might be invoking maybe some attachments, okay, or maybe some fears even. And so it is good to be aware of that and to dive deep, I feel like, today. You know, healthy depth. Right, which is basically shining that conscious light on the self, on the fears maybe, on the deeper dimension of life. Maybe it's not more introverted. Maybe it's more into the external environment where we can see beyond the veil, really be grateful for what we have and who we have in our life, really express that and connect in a way that is more vulnerable and more meaningful in a nutshell. I think that's going to be the strongest of this uh, Grand Cross because that's the opposition. But at the same time, we may feel like emotionally breaking free. You know, doing some sudden things, that's the square to Uranus, or maybe like being ourself, or making some changes that, uh, you know, because of maybe the bit of the uncomfortable energy there emotionally. So whatever that is, again, constructively bringing attention to the emotional body is very important 
um, here today and listening to the freedom, being ourselves, but again, with balance and consideration there. Uh, the square up to Jupiter does suggest that we could be quite uh, open-minded or free-spirited, again, kind of like Uranus, but here wanting to expand our horizons, right? Maybe thinking big, maybe emotions are quite strong here today. And again, maybe a bit of the pendulum that Ju squares to Jupiter sometimes bring bit of over optimism under optimism something like that so again through the extra tension there, understanding that there are opportunities there are potentials unfolding Jupiter is retrograde so we're sort of reconsidering all these possibilities and I think with that perspective of reconsideration of sort of going within for inner guidance uh, can be a great way of working with the square to Jupiter as a result of all this a trying to Chiron does suggest there might be some healing Okay, so it could be a day of feeling through this deeper, you know, connection and uh, connecting to our true self and seeing the possibilities or rehashing them. Um, this can be very healing today and maybe quite rejuvenating, in fact, as we go into tomorrow. So as we go into tomorrow, the sun will be sextiling up to Uranus. We may feel this towards the second half of the day. It's possible. It's a minor aspect, but it does involve a healthier sense of this freedom. And um, I think we will probably want to... Uh, try new things, do some different things the second half of the week as we approach that lunar eclipse. Uh, there could be some insight in a sense of thinking outside the box. Some uh, intuition could be very strong with a sextile to Uranus. But I feel like all in all, just having some freedom, freedom of being who we are and uh, changing things up. So I'll talk about more of that tomorrow. But um, today, yes, we are certainly approaching that lunar eclipse. More awareness, more momentum. I think there's some integration here today with this grand cross how we can integrate all these different energies and really balance out a bit of the practical gemini energy with a bit of the open-mindedness with both jupiter and uh, pluto and sagittarius maybe still being adaptive you know we got jupiter retrograde in virgo how can we rework things refigure things out and then uranus and pisces let go detach okay so those are a few key key areas but all in all i think just the extra tension there a willingness to dive deep listening to who, you know, our true self, what our intuition's telling us, and uh, to rework things. All right, I think that can be a great day for that stuff. Um, so that's the uh, moon in Gemini, inquisitive, shifting into the more emotional as we go into the second half of the day. And again, this greater context of the big picture of where we can have structure, discipline, pragmatism in both how we're expressing ourselves, thinking about things, and just generally in our life. All right. So hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.